camera's only getting used. Get it started, it looks like. There you go. Oh, there we go. It was just the graphic. Oh, we got Instagram. We got barking dogs. Be patient. Look at the height. I'm sweating down. Poor Manny. Giant Manny is a sex store. I'm not even wearing heels. No, it's like. Okay. Merry Christmas. I forgot about the end part. Or happy holidays. It's happy actually, holidays. It's the first day of Hanukkah. It's Indeed. the first day of Hanukkah. Yeah. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> okay. So for the I'm not even on the camera over here. For those of you that are joining us. We are making one of the recipes out of our holiday ebook, which is really just like a bonus recipe anyway. Um, and then we're just playing with other things in the warehouse. So, by the way, it is Friday night. Cheers. Hugh made these Ooh. beautiful color coordinated Christmas. <laughs> Yours is right there, Joey. Christmas lemon hey, teenies. Not for you. Not for so, you. Cheers, everyone. Wow. Happy holidays. What are the sprinkles? Are they sprinkles? Sugar. Oh. Colored sugar. That's delicious. Mm. <laughs> this is what we're doing on a Friday night. We're it's making deadly. dog treats because, you know, we don't really have anything better to do. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So everything that we're talking about today can be found on drjudymorgan.com, which is actually <laughs> also naturallyhealthypets.com. Thanks, Charlie. He's begging. The holiday recipes ebook. Maybe if Joey can figure out how to share that <laughs> link at some point on Facebook and YouTube um, and Maybe. Instagram, you just go to the link in bio, Charlie. Um, the only exception to that is we have two solutions pet products that we don't sell, but you can find them in your local pet store or you can go online and see what is near you to where you can get solutions pet products. I think it's just solutionspetproducts.com. And one of those things is the cheese. So this is for urinary tract. It's raw goat milk cheese with dandelion root and cranberry. And the dogs are really enjoying it, as you can hear in the background. And so then begging. the other product that we don't sell, but we have is the frozen fish jiggles, which we're going to make in little silicone molds to make little heart-shaped fish jiggle popsicles, I guess. Um, popsicles. Popsicles. There you go. Well, cats can have fish jiggles too. So they could actually. I might try those with some of the cats. I don't know. Do cats like cold things? <laughs> Not really, but it's fish, so they might. Oh. Edward it's, did have salmon it's in his fish dinner. Fish gelatin, <laughs> herring, cod okay, liver, okay, and okay. mango. Interesting. Mango. They ate fish. Oh, they did. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well. Gwen is going to work on some dehydrated treats. Mom and I are going to work on some of my frozen treats. So we're using the Naturally Healthy Pets molds that uh, there's little bones and there's little paw prints. I like these because there's 20 on each sheet so we can get a ton of treats made. And then I have some other ones that I bought, but they only have eight on a sheet. So they're bigger. But, you know, it's really not about giving them a huge thing. And these are all going to be really low calorie. So one of the things that we wanted to let you know about is Real Mushrooms Daily Dog. When you can hold it in front of that camera because Joey can put up a graphic over here. Oh, fancy. So Facebook Real and YouTube is getting Real fancy. Real Mushrooms Daily Dog. This is a brand new product. And guess what? It is only available on drjudymorgan.com until December 18th. Real Mushrooms doesn't even have it on their own website. How so, cool is that? Charlie is so excited. He can't stop barking about it. Yeah, right. At the link in bio, it's the only place you can get the daily dog supplement until December 18th, which is really cool. It's physically in the warehouse. It's not even back ordered. So, so and I'll tell you what's in it. It has a uh, krill meal, which is ocean. Uh, Saccharomyces, which is a yeast product, which is great for gut health. Flaxseed meal, astragalus root, which is great for immune system health. It has five defenders mushroom powder in here, which is the turkey tail, reishi, maitake, 
shiitake and chaga, but then they also added in lion's mane and cordyceps. So you name a mushroom, pretty much it's in there. They added ashwagandha, uh, maravet fucodin, which is a marine product as well, bladder rack, which is a seaweed product, milk thistle seed, and chlorella. So this is um, going to be amazing for immune system health. And we've been talking about the respiratory thing that's going along, uh, going around. So anything that we can do to help build the immune system and help with gut health is going to be really beneficial for helping prevent or treat uh, dogs with this um, respiratory thing going around. So I am actually going to use a scoop of that. And so we're going to do, let's see, the directions are uh, one teaspoon for 20 to 40 pounds of weight daily, well, once a day, but we have smaller dogs. So we're gonna use an eight teaspoon and they usually get a couple of these treats a day. So if you wanna put your eight teaspoon in all of those. And then I'm also going to add the um, holistic pet organics immune boost, which is a vitamin C powder. So, and we're only gonna put in a 16th of a teaspoon of that in each one of our little things. And then to mix it all together and freeze it, I'm going to use the Fido's digestion bone broth. And the reason I'm using this is because we want to have good gut health and uh, good gut health is uh, improved by using bone broth. This one also has calendula, chamomile, marshmallow root, blackberry leaf, burdock root, and ginger root. So we know that ginger is also nice and warming for the digestive tract. So that that, that bone broth is what we're going to pour into each of the little um, treat molds, along with the vitamin C and the new uh, real mushrooms powder, the daily dog. Uh, so that's going to be our first frozen one that we're going to do over here. What are you doing? I went to the grocery store today and I got some just organic chicken breast and organic green beans. And you are going to instruct us how to dehydrate them in just a regular oven. So that way they make these little jerky dried treats for dogs. They're so, very low calorie. One ingredient. Well, we're going to add a little bit of oil, which I guess you can explain. Uh, but it's really easy. I just stopped on my way here. I sliced some thin slices of the chicken breast if you so your chicken breast can be as wide as you want and as long as you want but it should be about a quarter inch thick so just depending on the size of your dog and it is going to shrink up a little bit um it's going to make a nice you know chewy kind of leathery depending on how dry you make it um and then for the green beans probably snap these in half um for these guys and what we're going to do is put the what happened to our baggie Oh, it's over here. Okay, we're gonna snap them in half and we're gonna put them in this baggie. And then we're gonna shake in a little bit of olive oil and shake them up in the bag and then lay them out. And what we have are cookie sheets with, um, if you wanna hand that over here so we can oh, hold that up. Rack. So I just put in a, a baking rack or a cookie uh, or a you know cooling rack on the cookie sheet. And that allows the air to circulate all the way around uh, the things that we're dehydrating. So we're just gonna snap our beans. They've already been washed and cleaned and they're organic. Put them in our little baggie and then we're gonna shake them with a little bit of olive oil. You can do them without the oil. You could also use coconut oil that you could melt and shake them with. Um, the reason I like to put a little bit of oil on them is it makes them really nice and crispy. So they come out more like a potato chip. So they got a little bit of a crunch, uh, a little bit more so than just the dried beans. Um, depending on your dogs, like if you wanted to add some seasonings to that, you could... Um, seasonings. Oh my gosh, we're getting exotic. So you could do a little bit of sea salt. You could add thyme or basil, whatever your, whatever herbs you think your particular pet might need for whatever food therapy you're trying to deal with. A little with. bit of turmeric or cinnamon. Yeah, or... cinnamon, turmeric, whatever, whatever um, might be beneficial for your particular pets, you could add to this. Okay, I think the rest of these are small enough that they can just go in. Wow. And then we'll shake them with a little oil. And then uh, just lay them out on our cookie sheet. 
So Hugh has this really nice little olive oil shaker that I really like. If your dog doesn't have any teeth, then these dehydrated treats probably, uh, I mean, if you do the chicken very, very thin, it might Let's just say, you, you'd be pieces. amazed what uh, dogs with no teeth can manage but to do. Definitely the frozen ones. You have dogs with no teeth that eat the frozen ones. I have dogs because they just melt and really bad teeth that eat those. Forrest doesn't know how to chew, but he can manage. Oh my gosh. Charlie, you didn't eat your bean. Well, I think that was, I think that was Gilly's. Well, he's already eaten like seven. All right, there you go. You can spread those out on your tray. All right, so Nanny has, I don't know if I can hold this up. This has the daily dog in each one of the, hold up the daily dog again. So we've got our eighth of a teaspoon of daily dog in each one of our little treats. And so now we are going to add a 16th of a teaspoon of the vitamin C immune here. boost. And these are going to be amazing. And then we'll add the uh, the digestion Fido's bone broth. I put it in my coffee craft for ease of pouring. Um, it seems to, I think it's me, <laughs> but every one of my um, measuring cups, when I pour out of them, I make a big mess. So the coffee craft, I think is gonna be a little easier. We'll find out. No, that's also concerned. the cheese that they're eating is for <laughs> urinary tract health meat. and no, it's solutions it's pet products. That's why they keep barking at me because I've been <laughs> feeding them handfuls of cheese. <laughs> so I don't know how this is. I probably like, shouldn't have given them dinner. Yeah. They're, they're getting over lots their, of stuff <laughs> over their calorie allotment, but that's fine. Yum, 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 yum. Um, so you've got your chicken cut up on those. You're going to put your beans on there. Yes. <laughs> And then I guess we're gonna figure out how to put, now the reason I'm using this particular mold for the fish jiggles, you can use any of them. These are a little bit, little bit deeper. I'm thinking it might be a little easier. I don't know. We will find out I've never opened a thing of fish jiggles. I don't think they're fully. It's not completely thawed out. Thawed. So we might have to put it in a, in a bowl and let it sit while we do this, the other one. Charlie, son. I know. I sprayed him with the cheese, and now it's oh, it smells fishy. Gone downhill. That is fishy. Let me put it in a little warm water. You could also do that with goat milk, right? With with raw goat milk, you can. Oh, yeah. You know, so frozen. Uh, I actually saw a great video today as an as an idea for some of these frozen treats using raw goat milk and a cranberry powder. Um, and mixing that all up and then putting um, a whole cranberry in your treat mold as well. So I have a recipe using coconut oil and cranberries, which are beautiful treats, just really, really pretty Oh yeah, we could have made treats. those too, but we don't have any coconut oil there. So I do. Image. I have coconut oil. Oh, well, um, the warehouse doesn't, and I don't. Uh, um. But this one actually used goat milk with the cranberry, so it came out kind of pink <laughs> with the fresh cranberries in it. I love how there's one reverse sneezing, one barking. What's three what do we got? Up now. Can you <laughs> give the immune boost daily? The S yes. or C? Yes, absolutely. And that was one of the things that you recommended for the respiratory virus. It's just yes. a general immune boost. As, as an immune boost, but also as a treatment. So you can <laughs> use it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Eat the cheese. Of course, the more I feed him, the more he's going to bark. I know, so it's just, not, it's just going to get uglier. We're, we're going to do a training segment again, maybe one day, so that way mm. the dogs get trained. <laughs> I'm going to have we... to have the trainer come here and work with the dogs, and we'll just film it and we'll just see if it goes from ugly to better. I'm, I'm not sure that they're trainable. Please. They, I'm pretty sure they're not. I feel like we, we can right, give them a good give us a try? Filling each of those with much the better rock. camera luck. setup. That's right. That's because Joey be Joey is behind the camera. Before we were on our own, and Joey was just like jumping in last minute because he knew that was a bad idea. Um, so this is a much better idea to have Joey prepping the camera, and you can actually hear what we're saying. So what are you guys making? I am making frozen treats. That's still like frozen. I am making frozen uh, treats because I will show you in our freezer now. All heck is going to break loose. Oh yeah, when you open the freezer, these dogs are like piranhas. They're well trained to the freezer. So this is our bag of treats. 
that I made the other day. I made 116 treats. Oh my God. So I've got green ones. You can't even see them on camera. They don't even show up. That's a paw print. I have green hearts. I have red hearts. Yeah, they don't show up on camera, but I have a whole bag of these things. Um, and with these, I used mush. No, uh, half of them are chicken bone broth, half are venison bone broth. And I use dog greens in the green ones and kin and kind healthy immunity in the red ones. And so oh, nice. We hand these out freely. Those are all good. Mm -hmm. You can have that. You can have that. You can have and that. you did make a cup of green tea, which oh. we oh, here, Charlie. We were gonna discuss as well. There you go. Can right. you use Solaris instead of Daily Dog? Yeah, Solaris is another supplement that just has a variety of mushrooms and beneficial herbs. So yes, and I actually was going to do Solaris, and then Gwen brought in the Daily Dog, and I said, oh, fine, "We just do got that. the Daily Dog supplement in today, and it just went live on the website today. We are the exclusive retailer for the Daily Dog by Real Mushrooms until Ooh, December 18th. So if you want to." support us oh, yeah. and tell them that it was a great idea to do that, then go get it on drgmorgan.com or at the link in bio. Thank you, Real Mushrooms. Okay. Nanny, Debbie is impressed with your concentration. Nanny's much neater with this. I usually have like liquid everywhere. So I'm thinking that it's not actually a problem with our measuring cups. It's me. Oh, shocking. <laughs> shocking. And maybe that's because Nanny is a metal personality as those. Yes. And, and Dr. Dr. Judy is a wood personality. So Dr. Judy kind of makes a mess. And for those of you who love everything measured, not me. She will measure. She'll probably measure. Hugh usually measures, although I'm, I'm, I'm getting him used to not measuring so much. Um, yeah, we took a little bit of, we took a little bit of heat earlier because we didn't put exactly how to administer green tea. So here's the thing with the green tea. For those who freaked out over how much green tea, how often, how do you give it, blah, blah, blah. It was all in the article. By the, all you had to do was click the link and it took you directly to the article that said four every 10 pounds, give a quarter, you can give a quarter to a half cup. Hey, shh a quarter to a half cup per day if you're using it for like immune boosting properties. Hey, hey, come here. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? We could give him like a, um, Oh, do you have a, a rabbit a, foot or something? A chicken foot or something out of the Ooh. cabinet and make him go away. <laughs> so here. we bought Bigelow green tea. This is not an advertisement for Bigelow. It's just what Gwen brought. It's decaf. So you don't have to worry about the caffeine. And by the way, there's not enough caffeine in it to worry about. And so we made a cup of tea a while ago and it's just lukewarm, which is perfect. And then uh, you can use it as a mouth rinse. You can add it to their food. Uh, but we were talking about using it kind of as a dental um, rinse and for uh, helping with the microbiome in the mouth, the antioxidant effect. So I, frankly, the, um, the symbiota canine comes with these 6 cc syringes. It's a probiotic. But, <laughs> Daddy's getting you something. Look, you're getting a, a chicken foot. Here, go. Look, look, look what you're getting. By the way, this is this is one of the piranhas that you can't see on the camera, but there's certainly run. there's how many are here? One, five. Two, three, five. There's five. Five underfoot. All right, Charlie has a chicken foot. Maybe he'll go away for five minutes. <laughs> Dr. Drew used to have Dobermans, and then naturally she switched to Cavalier King Charles Spaniels because it was a it was similar. A, it was a clear transition. <laughs> Easy. Well, Hugh, and this is actually an English Toy Spaniel. Hugh is, had a giant Masso. It was like 180 pounds. And I have two very large brown dogs. So and now just, we have small barky things. Exactly. So anyway. Anyway, so with the tea, you can use it. Oh, I need that dog or a dog. Uh, you can, you can, I don't care. You can use it as a dental rinse. So you can get your syringe. You can buy these at the drugstore, literally anywhere. And you can use them over. Look, he's like, what are we getting? Yay. And then literally just, Hey, hi, bub. He says, that's out of my mouth. Doesn't work. I'm going to make one very wet. That's okay. And we can use it as a dental rinse. Hi, licky, licky, licky. But they can ingest it. So you can yeah. give them a bowl there of cooled green tea for self-selection, or you can mm. pour it over their food to You're warm a little it up. Now. That's totally fine. Um, get the decaf version of green tea, but at least in 
regular green tea. There's not a lot. There's of not that much caffeine anyway. There you go. So so simple, easy to do. All right, Nanny has made these beautiful. That was pretty awesome. Those are going to turn out brown, but brown's okay. Then we'll have green, red, and brown. I don't All think right. the dogs will care. I don't think they care. All right. You can give ester C at the same time as antibiotics. That's, yes, that's absolutely. Okay. So the next batch we're going to make, I'm actually going to use the Gussie's Gut. And for this, we're going to do an eighth teaspoon of the Gussie's Gut, uh, which is fermented veggies. Um, well, fermented veggies and herbs. So this is, again, really good for gut health and for um, immune support. So it's another really great one. So we're going to do a big one of that. And then we're going to, I'm going to add in the immune boost vitamin C to that one as well. So big spoon with that one. And then the small spoon with this one. We'll get this out of the way. Move the trash. All right. Gwen is still over here slicing chicken. So for oh, no, this is supposed to be the daily dog and Gussie's gut. Daily dog and Gussie's gut, not vitamin C? Yes. Oh, sorry. I mean, you could do all three together, frankly. Actually, these are big enough we can. All right, so we'll do all three. Daily dog. That's even better. Gussie's gut and the vitamin C. So you've got vitamin C, your medicinal mushrooms, your beneficial yeasts, 19 different fermented superfoods. It's going to be like the most amazing. Beneficial seaweeds. Everything. <laughs> All okay. in one treat with bone broth. We'll probably, yeah, bone broth that has good herbs in it too. All right, so we'll put a little more bone broth in there. All right, so we'll let Nanny work on that. And the right, so I'm dehydrating the green beans and no, just no, organic chicken one. breast that I got from the grocery store. The oh, dehydrated green oh. beans is in the holiday recipes ebook for dogs. We didn't include enough recipes in there for cats, but they can, of course, get any dehydrated meats or meat-based treats. But even the ones with the bone broth and um, yeah, if your cats and like them. vitamin C, if there's they nothing. Them, there's nothing fine. here that they couldn't have. Um, all right. So for the dehydrated stuff, if you have a dehydrator, that's great. You can just throw it in your dehydrator overnight. If you do not own a dehydrator, you can use your oven. So all you have to do is, and we used to do this in New Jersey all the time. All you have to do is set your oven on its lowest setting, which is usually 170 degrees. Put your trays in your oven and go to bed. <laughs> when you come out in the morning, you will have beautiful dehydrated treats that you can feed your pets. Um, depending on how dry they are, you may want to refrigerate them. A lot of times these treats, if you don't get them really, really dry, They'll mold fairly quickly at room temperature. So um, putting them in a container in your refrigerator is not a bad idea. Yeah, I would definitely refrigerate these. Um, but frankly, if you use them up within a few days, I mean, even in the refrigerator, you want to use them up within a week. So, uh, or you could throw them in your freezer. So Ooh, that's a good idea. I feel like the frozen dehydrated green beans would be a nice crunchy treat. No, they're going to be crunchy. But you can thaw them out, you know, for each day at a time. Isn't it nice having sharp knives? That's gonna be too thick, though. Hugh, Hugh keeps a nice kitchen full of sharp knives, which is why he doesn't let me play with them very often. <laughs> it's dangerous. And it's funny when Nanny has to cut something up, she takes the dullest ancient knife out of there because she's afraid she's gonna, just just she's afraid case. she's gonna hurt herself, so she takes the dullest knife and it's like eh, eh, eh. I use the sharp ones, but. If I cut Where myself, is the ebook to purchase? So you can get the holiday recipes ebook at drjudymorgan.com. Caroline and Joey have also posted. Yay, Caroline, comments. thank you. So you can get it. It's $6.99 and it has 12 recipes, including a couple of stews in there. There's one stew, there's the Feast of the Seven Fishes, which is really cool. Um, this is for fun. There's a bunch of treats and chews in there that you can do. You can obviously dehydrate stuff, which anything you can get from the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, you can use any kind of meat for this. Um, you can use organs, which sometimes you organs, can get from like a butcher. So, or, liver or heart would be amazing for this as well. Um, so, lots of different things. And then also, don't forget, Solutions Cheese makes an amazing treat. Um, Let's see how our 
Ooh, this is feeling pretty good. All right, let me see. And fish. I'm going to see if jiggles. I can manage to put jiggles <laughs> into treat molds. Oh, Joni from Real Mushrooms is joining us. Thanks, Joni. Hi, Joni. How you feeling? I know you were so sick. Yeah, but Joni, I feel like she she got us the exclusive daily dog supplement at drjudymorgan.com only until December 18th. That's so cool. We're so honored. Thank you, Joni. You guys are awesome. And also, I feel like Dr. Rob Silver, who formulated the Daily Dog, has nestled into the perfect home at Real Mushrooms because he can oh, just yeah. formulate all these cool things where... He's I, kind of a brainiac. I read some of those ingredients and I was like, I don't think I've heard of this. And then I start researching it and go down a wormhole. I'm like, okay, this is probably the path that Dr. Rob Silver took to decide that this should be in this product. I don't even know if he has to go down a wormhole. <laughs> I think it's just all in his brain. That's true. He probably just knows off the top of his head. But it's really cool that he is able to come up with these really He's been formulating for a lot products. of years. Yes, he was he was the formulator at Arcs. Vitamins, right? Yeah, the company yes. that shall not be named <laughs> in conjunction with his name. Okay. Uh, I... Okay. Uh, well, fish jiggles ha do have a fishy smell. I'm, de Oops. I'm dehydrated out over here. You're dehydrated. You've used up your, well, your dogs will just eat that chunk of meat like it's nothing. Yours probably would too. They're still circling. Well, you can cut it up and give it to the circlers and just send it outside to the crazy one. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Joni says, I'm great. Yes, you are great, Joni. We agree. <laughs> and then she said, I'm feeling great. <laughs> Both. All of the above. Can I do this? Uh, yes, please. All right. So Nanny has all three supplements in here. So we've got all of our powders in there. And then she's doing a much better job than me at filling them using her little metal personality to fill each one perfectly. Whereas I just make a big sloppy mess, which I just did on the fish jiggles. If you don't know what personality we're talking about, you can go on drjudymorgan.com or at the link in you bio. You can take the human take, personality uh, Take the human questionnaire. personality quiz and find out what personality you are. We all fit into five buckets, according to traditional Chinese medicine. Five buckets. I'm wood. Nanny's metal. Joey's know. metal. I don't know what I am. Maybe I'm I'm wood. Maybe in the end. Mm, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. No, you're so nurturing. I don't know. She's so nice to her child. That's true. Much nicer than I was. That's when she more was earthly. A child. That is more earthly. But you are in the earth uh, period of life as well, so that helps. True. I am. I am approaching the metal period of life. Caroline's metal. See, that's we're surrounded by metals, which is how we but like. See, metals like make amazing, amazing employees. Yes, yes. <laughs> they are amazing as employees. Every like, I feel like. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Be, be careful with your stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Really, Forrest? Stop. stop. You're you're the one who's going to be Cujo. Hey, 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 hey. Does anybody remember the movie Cujo? Because every once in a while, Forrest wants to. I, He's not old enough to have seen the movie, but I think somewhere along the way he's channeling it because every once in a while. He has hydrocephalus though, so that, that's, yeah. a, you know, if there's some we special use, consideration. We use that as an excuse for everything. I'm, I'm not sure it's a good no, excuse. No, he did learn how to sit though, right? Oh, he was, he actually was the star of his training okay. class, which is so scary. Oh, <laughs> the, the, I don't have a brain and I was the star. The funny thing is when you put a leash on him and take him to class, he's like all about it. The same with Gilly. Uh, Hugh took Gilly after I took Forrest and he was all about it too. And then at home, they're just like complete, we know nothing. It's a free for all, but Gabby's the favorite. Gabby. Well, Gabby's just good. Oh, You're just a good, good Gabby, yeah. Well, no, actually there's George. There is George, come here. There are favorites, but they might be Well, favorites. George is going to be 16 next month. 16. Say, I've got cancer. I've got heart disease. I've got dry eye. I've got facial paralysis, CMSM, disc disease, but he heart does disease. Get and he's going to be 16, and he's amazing, and he races around like there's nothing wrong. He's got a very dry nose, which is so funny. I put the home of, of special <laughs> needs pets. I put uh, the Kin and Kind nose and paw moisturizer, a blob of it on the top of his nose. It stayed there for three days. Yeah, I mean, it looks better. It did a good job. But it was so funny because he got this big blob of white stuff <laughs> on the top of his nose for three days. It took that long for it to melt in, but it did a good job. So we just need to put another blob on there, don't we? Gabby is a little, a little potato. She's very happy about this. Yeah. The bitches for you. 
<laughs> he says, little bit cheese for me, you'll probably eat my fingers. Should I put these in the oven? You can put them in the oven. The which which oven is it? You top top oven. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that one seven. We had to leave one for Hugh to cook dinner. You know. The people <laughs> have to eat too. Imagine that. Yeah. Every okay. once in a while. Okay. Here you go. Wow, Nanny, you did a splendid job with that. All right. Well done. I just have to find room in the freezer. So um, some people say they don't have room in their freezer to do these kind of things. So, um, you know, I would recommend starting with just use a small tray with a couple, um, like one of our uh, molds or a couple of these other, the problem with these molds is they only make eight at a time. I like making 20. So you could do just a small tray and fit that in your freezer. Maybe you have to do them more often, but it depends how many dogs you have. Um, we go through 10 to 15 a night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it's two to three rounds, but they're zero calories basically. I mean, very few and everything I put in them is always like immune boosting, healthy. Really I good. feel like there are two types of pet parents. The one type that is like always doling out treats and the other type that like totally forgets about treats and just well, it's funny gives them a really good diet. And we used to give pets and that's we it. We used to give no treats that's at all. We used to give no treats at all. I really don't give my dogs treats and they're, it's because <coughs> they're big, they're big brown dogs and they're, they just don't appreciate small treats if they just swallow them whole. And so I'm like, I don't feel like that's worth they're not savoring it. It doesn't feel worth it. Well, so I'll give them like a chew or like a, a We used to do none. And then when, so when we still had Stewie, every time we would open the freezer to get ice cubes out at night to make a martini, Stewie loved ice cubes. And so he would go running over there and then everybody else would come running to the freezer. And so then I was like, well, why don't I make them some nice frozen treats? And we started making the treat molds and we got those. So I was like, well, I could put some of their really good supplements in here, and that's one less powder that I have to put into their food bowl or on their food platter, actually. But it's one less thing that I have to mix into their food, and they can have it as a reward or a treat. So that's how we kind of got started doing it. So now they get two to three per evening, but it is always something healthy that is helping their immune system. That so. If I use colostrum in the treats, then I'm not putting colostrum in their meals. Right now, there's I don't have colostrum treats, so they're getting colostrum in their meals. So it's one more powder I'm putting in the meals. All the all the comments, by the way, are just two camps of people. Like literally, people that give them treats all the time, every day. I used to not, that, or people that barely ever give treats, or just give like special occasions. I used to not give treats. Um, I get through Nanny deals out, do, doles out more treats than I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but George gets an egg for lunch every day. So while George is eating his lunch, the other four are like, hello, what about us? Don't we count? So they all get treats. Um, so yeah, she's worse than we are about giving treats, but they, they really like, literally they finish dinner, they go outside and pee and then they come in and sit at the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> they start digging at the freezer, barking at the freezer five minutes after dinner. <laughs> yeah. See, mine, I never give mine frozen treats, so they don't they don't care about the freezer whatsoever. Yeah. Ours the and freezer. they I just started giving them the new sweet potato chews, which I don't think you've tried with your oh, dogs. They're pretty is, big. They're big and like Charlie they're pretty, would, Charlie, they're pretty, would, probably Charlie like them, would probably really love it. But my dogs actually chew on them and they picked it out of their food first. They wanted the sweet potato first, which I thought was interesting. Well, so. sweet potato was great for Stewie, not that he would have been able to, I'm cutting this up so I can give it to my dogs. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Cause you know, they had dinner and now they're having like 16 more meals. They're all gonna but be I, sleeping well tonight. They're gonna be stuffed. Don't want to go to waste, so. It's so funny when we were setting up the cameras, the dogs just knew. They were like, okay. They're all in the kitchen. <laughs> they're like, every. <laughs> These three are in the kitchen. There's cameras. There's tripods. Like we know what to do. Assemble, and all the little tails are just. I've got wagging. four back here, but and Charlie, we put outside for the barking. They're, he's, yeah, they're he's barking. not happy. It's like we're Forrest. Forrest doesn't really care Forrest, about treats. Charlie's gonna dig his way through the sliding glass door. Forrest doesn't care about treats. Mila, if she was here, would be 
wanting all the treats. Music. Okay. All right. So, yeah, George wanted to direct the event. George would like to be in charge of all things food wise. Uh, he, he's a big fan of the treats. There you go. Oh, George. Yeah, you can have as many treats as you want. Here, Matt. Went through Here's half that. a brick of cheese. I feel oh. like that's a lot for your dogs. Yeah. I'll give the rest of mine. Poor Gilly. Yeah, he stole his. She took it right out of his mouth. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they are literally little piranhas. <laughs> All right, everybody have a wonderful weekend. It's going to rain all day Sunday, so I'm making Christmas cookies with Hugh and Nanny. I don't know if Gwen's coming or not. I haven't told Wow, I wasn't even invited. You are invited. I just haven't told you yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh by the way, uh, tickets for the International Naturally Healthy, Exper Naturally Healthy Pets Experience. It's in Orlando, October 12th and 13th, six international speakers. Tickets are on sale over the weekend for supporters and paid community members as of Monday morning. Monday sometime. Monday sometime. It is open for everyone to get your tickets. This event is going to sell out. Make sure you get your tickets for the event and go ahead and make your hotel reservation at the Doubletree at Universal. The link for the hotel reservations and the room block to get the special pricing for the rooms is on the event website that will be posted on Monday for everyone. <clears throat> Sign up early. We are going to run out of hotel rooms. We're going to run out of spaces at the event. Uh, we're really excited about it. It is amazing. We opened it up to supporters in the paid community today, and the response is already overwhelming. So yeah. it's, it's, it's going to go. Uh, so look for that on Monday. I believe there will probably be an email going out, right? Yeah, we'll send out an email, we'll post it on social media, but I I can't believe how many VIP tickets we sold today just from the supporters. Which is community. why we opened it to the paid community first because a we, year in advance. And in advance. I mean I can't I can't blame people because I am so excited just to meet these professionals and be in the same room. I, on a personal note, just, I'm excited to be there and that I have to be there. I'm like, this is amazing. And like, oh, half, dang, I have to be there. Half of our team is already talking about, they're planning, like people are planning almost a year in advance for this event, which is crazy. And I'm so excited. A lot of you have already, like all the comments I'm seeing of people that already got their VIP ticket and reserved. And we haven't even room. advertised for everybody for sponsors and vendors has been by invitation so far. And we haven't even advertised for that. I don't know if we're even going to have any spaces left to advertise because the people that we have invited to be sponsors and vendors are all like, I can't wait to be a part of this. So it's going to be, be all great. of our, all of our favorite vendors in one people. spot, almost all of our favorite from around the globe coming in. Uh, Dr. Connor, Dr. Nick Thompson, Dr. Barbara Fruzier, Dr. Barbara Royal. The Dr. Marsdens. Stephen Kern Marsden. And Peter Tobias. Peter Tobias. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So if you are in the paid community, you can go to drjudymorgan.com or the link in bio. And at the top, it'll have a link to be, uh, in, or no, you don't even have to be invited. You just can sign up and you have to answer some questions. You can be added to the community. And you will see the link to buy tickets. So if you're a Facebook supporter, just look in the supporter hub. And then Monday, as she said, it will be available for everybody. So we are super excited. Sure. And this is what we talk about on a Friday night. This is what's just yeah. exciting. Dog treats and, and international pet professionals. Hit it, Hugh. I'm going to. Nate's going to. <laughs> Nate will be there too. She's, a, she's an attraction. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And Joey will be there. You get to meet Joey. Yay. Yay. All right. You got like a drop of bone broth. Are you going to give all these to your dogs or should I put this in a baggie? I'm just trying to roll it, but I start to sell it. Okay. I can I can mess it all up for you. Yeah, I was gonna say, Nanny made it perfectly neat, and you're going through it. Sure. Overfilling it. I'm just trying to. This is a it. metaphor for our relationship, Judy. You don't, don't want to waste that part. Well, I'm not wasting the bone box. Just a little bit. Charlie's gonna break the door. Yes, Sonia, I saw you're coming to Florida. 
that book needs to go on the grid. Don't forget your daily dog! some of this chicken and get the the mustard because it's not spicy for the Oh, there he is. Come here, Charlie. I've seen him for you.